Hey guys, welcome back. Modi here with, with Heather. <laughs> and we are back with another cooking vlog. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this one's gonna be a little bit different. He's not making anything different. Um, I've decided that when it comes to cooking, there's not nearly enough defense. You're not very good at it either. I am great at it. Mm. The seven things I eat, <laughs> I make them all the time. You said I make macaroni and cheese better than you. It's making you feel better. Anyways. So, that was I saying. So yeah, we're gonna do cooking. <laughs> uh, Heather, what monstrosity are we making tonight? Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys saw, hopefully, the prior vlog that yes. it came out, uh, Heather got some fake meat, some liar meat. No. So we're making liar meatloaf, <laughs> filthy liar meatloaf. And um, and yeah, and apparently I'm gonna help. Yep. You've never made meatloaf before. Look at those forehead rings. Would you stop? I can't even do that. No Botox either. A little bit. <laughs> I went the opposite route. I took some out of my forehead and I injected it in my ass. Ooh, I said a bad word, but edit that out. Nope. It's staying in. <laughs> I'll edit the butt part, but leave the other You'll one beat in. That. <laughs> yeah. I want to start editing these so I can just randomly beep out words you say. Watch, just say some sentence. I love you. <laughs> See? <laughs> Filthy. All right. So, let's make meat bread. No, meatloaf. How does bread come? What do you buy when you buy bread? <laughs> Say it. A loaf of bread. You are filthy. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so here is what you're going to need to make meatloaf. Ground beef. Two different colors because they're, they were on sale. <laughs> we don't see color when it comes to ground beef we in don't. this house. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Whoa. Meatloaf uh, seasoning mix. I've actually never used this before, so we'll see how this turns out flavor-wise. Breadcrumbs and eggs to hold it all together. I usually use a bread pan because, you know, meatloaf. Yeah, bread. See? I have another one of these, so if the regular one is too big. I'll split it into two. If not, I'll use one for mine and one for the other one. If I end up using both, I'm gonna use this round pan for mine. You're gonna make a liar meat blow It's gonna cookie. be really thin. <laughs> and a bowl to mix it. All right. Well, why don't you show, focus. Why don't you show us what we do first? All right. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is take your meat out of the package into the bowl. <laughs> you sure you want to make bowls? Yeah, because we're, we have company. It's Snoop. Yeah, three boys and Snoop. He can eat a sandwich. He can bring a sandwich in his pocket. <laughs> I usually use gloves when I'm doing this, but he says he's brave enough to do this. Because I'm a man. <laughs> man, man, man. Ew! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. That's what? Five pounds meat, maybe? I gotta do everything? I punched the meat. Eggs. No, oh, this just got gross. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do the squishy part now. Ah, uh, you already said you would. Ah, <laughs> uh, I already washed my hands. Yep. All right, and then breadcrumbs. And like always, I don't measure. All right. Toast dust. <laughs> you break in the eggs first. Yeah, get in. Okay, you're gonna end up with it all over your hands. Just get in there and it's in tuition. Hey, this meat is still completely frozen in the milk. <laughs> break it up. It's completely frozen <laughs> in the milk. <laughs> That'd be fine. Oh no, 
You're getting it all over. Cross contamination. That's a good thing I bleached this, the counter. This is friend. one piece. You're strong. <laughs> this is so absolutely gross. I'm so unhappy right now. This is really cold. Uh huh. You don't think you're gonna get your hands in here, do you? Nope. Because you are. What? Yeah. I'm not even eating this. What are you putting clothes on for, wuss? Because that's how I always do it. Oh, the, the bread dust is so <laughs> granular. There's not enough. <laughs> oh, it's like trying to bury a body in sand. Let's see, what does this smell like? Buttholes. Um, smells like tomato. Let's see, what's in this? Um, onion powder, wheat flour, garlic. There's no tomatoes in here whatsoever. All right. These frozen pieces, how is this going to work? It's fine. <laughs> You're the worst. Yep. You're the absolute worst. Yep. It's so cold. Yeah, you know what? It's all you. <laughs> I'm all stickies with goo. Get in there and you smoosh it. Smoosh it real good! <sighs> smoosh it. <sighs> smoosh it. Alright, I'm gonna grab the camera so don't get seasick. I want everybody to <laughs> really see the magic that's going on here. Look at that. Look at her just taking control. This bowl of meat could kill her. <laughs> it wouldn't kill me. I'd be very hurting for about a week and a half. That much meat would be very hurting for... A month. <laughs> ...the next couple of years. All right, it looks like it's pretty in and... I can form it pretty good. All right, that's better. He was showing my boobs off. Yeah. This is a family-ish channel. Yeah. Well. All right. When you can form it and it holds, you're good. So we're ready for this one. Okay. Look at that. Now you don't want to just save this. Um. Yeah, I guess we could save it. You can actually put it in a Ziploc bag and freeze it. Because it's not cooked. Hi. Um. Yeah, we'll save it. Yeah. I need to fill in the corners. This will shrink <laughs> once it's cooked. It was cold outside. I was swimming. <laughs> All right. Now on to mine. Bake. One loaf is enough for five. 350. Bake. Oh, he's not eating. I've been eating this prostate check for years. <laughs> no, I just, I'm okay with like handling raw meat. I just don't like it getting all over my hands. All over your what? All my hands. All over my hands. All my hands. hands. All right. Time before the whole reason we're doing this video. <laughs> you gotta turn sideways, there we go. I'm not sponsored, I wanna be. So you guys tweet at Beyond Meat and be like, hey, Heather and AB keeps uh, pushing your product. Sponsor her, please. All right. I'm sure they're gonna get right on that. Yep. All right, so this is the first time you're actually seeing liar meat. Okay, smell that. No. Smell it. I won't. It smells like your deviled ham. Have fun then. <laughs> still no. It. You smell it. Oh, you guys are wusses. Yep. It smells like the double ham stuff that you. Good. You mean the double ham that you hate and think is all completely uh, gross? Yeah, because it, it does. It, it tastes gross. All right. Since I've only got a little bit here, <laughs> I'm only going to use one egg. I'm not vegan, so eggs are okay. Red crumbs. Now, would there be a vegan way to do this? Um, probably they have egg substitutes. I don't use them and I've never used them before. 
Uh, I know they do have them in liquid form, so you can probably just use that instead. Okay. Switch the fake meat. I know in baking you can use um, applesauce or bananas. 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 Oh, it feels like meat! <laughs> I need more breadcrumbs. <laughs> hey, you. I need to borrow you. I need, I need more breadcrumbs. Or I'll do it. Say when. Uh, when? And I forgot to open the meat. Both these Oops. I'm professional. Professional what? Screw up. Oh. <laughs> Who pays you for that? Nobody. <laughs> then you're not a professional. You're an amateur. Uh, I have Patreons. They pay me. Oh, oh, oh. That's good. What do we do with this time? Okay. You're doing a really oh good, my God, no. really good job, honey. Stop. <laughs> All right, make it into a ball and see if it stays together. You didn't do your own test. Liar. Liar meat. Now, I'm not sure because I've never used this before because it's a brand new product. I don't know if it will shrink down while cooking. Even if you ask, it would lie to you because it's liar meat. <sighs> For how long? About an hour, hour and a half. Okay. okay. We'll meet you back then. All right, so everything's done. Uh, there had to be... There you go, hi. So everything's <laughs> done. There had to be uh, a few adjustments to yeah. the uh, to the recipe. It's been a while since in. I made meatloaf. So um, I ended up turning up the heat to 400, and but it, I didn't leave it in for the whole hour and a half either. So. Left it for like an hour and 25 minutes. Yeah. So. so maybe put it at 400 from the get. Yeah, from the so. start. But yeah. But it, it turned out uh, turned out good. Let's uh, let's flip the old camera around and take a look. What do you guys say? Okay, so here is the finished product. On this side, we have the regular meatloaf, and usually we put ketchup and stuff on it. This is uh, RW's plate, so I'm not gonna do anything to it. <laughs> uh, and then this is the Beyond one. Those look like the worst brownies I've ever seen. <laughs> Those brownies look like they've gone bad. No. The brownies are good? They're good. They're brownies? They're not brownies. I know. They're liar meat. <laughs> they're lying and saying they're brownies. I want to try it. Go ahead. Here we go. Here's the real test. Tastes like meatloaf. Does it? It does. Like real meatloaf? Yeah. See, it's already lying to you. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there we go. There was uh, regular meatloaf. Yep. And dirty, filthy liar meatloaf. <laughs> and corn and potatoes that she didn't let me work on because I would end up throwing them in the trash. Mm -hmm. That's a reference to an old video. It is. <laughs> Anyways, guys. So there you go. So this was kind of a cooking vlog and kind of a taste test thing. Yep. So, so if you're somebody who can or doesn't want to eat meat, uh, Go to your local hippie grocery store <laughs> and uh, look for Beyond Meat. Yep. Which is uh, my porn name, by the way. Oh my god. Like, subscribe, Patreon. We'll see you Click next that later. bell. Don't forget about the bell. Bye.